in this video we are going to discuss about pointer to base class and derived class we know that we use a pointer in order to store address of a variable that means if you take int pointer then by using int pointer we can store address of integer variable if you take float pointer then by using float pointer we can store address of a floating point variable if we want to store address of any variable then we use as void pointer but in this concept we will discuss about how we can access the members of the base class and derived class with the help of the pointers we will discuss about this concept by taking an example program so here we need base class and derived class so we have to implement some inheritance concept so let us write the program hash include ivostream.h why because in this program we have to use c out and c in objects they are present in ivostream.h first let us create a base class so class that name of the base class is base class base under the public section under the public section let us declare two variables two member variables in the a comma b and define one member function that is yard function so void yard let us perform some initialization here a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 c out less than less than a plus b a plus b okay so this is our base class now let us close the class declaration so closing the class declaration is over now let us have derived class so class class here again i am writing so class derived let name of the class is derived the syntax for creating the derived class is we have to use the colon symbol let the access specifier is public next what is the base class name base base next within the curly braces under the public section under the public section uh, let us have uh, one more member function uh, let us uh, let us use uh, let us create two member variables int c comma d so why let us have mul function here mul function mul stands for multiplication uh, let c value is uh, uh, 10 d value is 20 display the value display the result c out less than less than c star d next to close the mul function next to close the class okay so we have two classes like this under the base class we have ab as the member variables yard is the member function under the derived class we have cd as the member variables and mul is the and mul is the member function that we have okay now let us have the main function int main if the program is successfully compiled and executed main function returns a value called 0 let us focus on how we can access base class members with the help of the pointer variable so for that purpose let us create a pointer variable for the base class so base star bptr bptr stands for base class pointer variable now by using the base class pointer we have to store either address of base class object or derived class object let us create an object for the base class so base b o b z so b o b z stands for base class object so now b p t r stores address of the base class object b p t r is equal to ampersand b o b z so now base class pointer contains address of the base class object now with the help of this base class pointer we have to access the members of the base class so what are the members of the base class under the public section we have yard method so let us call that method we know that if the member variable if it if the if it is pointer variable then we have to use a arrow operator in order to access the members so bptr arrow yard so whenever this statement is executed then the control goes to the yard member function of the base class 
Why? Because BPTR contains address of the base class object. So now the control goes to the add member function. So A value 10, B value 10. C out less than less than A plus B. So 10 plus 20 means 30. 30 will be printed on the monitor. So likewise here, with the help, or let us assume that uh, we have we have written one more statement. Derive DOBZ. Now BPTR is equal to M percent DOBZ. Now base class pointer contains derived class object. But here, if base class pointer contains derived class object, then with the help of the base class pointer, we can access only, uh, we know that here, this is the derived class. Derived class means it contains its base class members as well as its contain, it contains its own members. So what are it, its base class members? A, B. What are its, its mem own members? C, D. But with the help of the BPTR, we can access only derived class base members. Derived class base members means we can access only A and B. It is not possible to access derived class own members with the help of the BPTR. Why? Because BPTR contains, this is nothing but BPTR. Ba this is base class pointer. So with the help of the base class pointer, we can access only base class members irrespective of the object. If it is base class object or derived class object, we can access only base class members only. So after that, if we, if we write a statement like this, BPTR arrow mul, then the compiler will use error message. Why? Because here mul function is derived class own member function. So we can't access derived class members with the help of the BPTR. If we want to access derived class members also, then we have to make use of the virtual member functions. Okay. So here the point is very, very simple. If it is a base class pointer, then irrespective of the object, if it is either base class object or derived class object, we can access only base class members. Okay. Now let us see how we can access the derived class uh, members with the help of the pointer variable. So for that purpose, we have to create a pointer variable for the derived class. So derived star DPTR. DPTR stands for derived class pointer variable. Now let us create an object for the derived class. So derived DOBZ. DPTR is equal to M percent DOBZ. So now derived class pointer contains derived class object address. Okay. So now what are, what, what are the members here? In derived class we have mul function. So DPTR arrow mul function. So if we access like this, then the control will go to the mul function of the derived class. And what is the code here? C value 10, D value 20, C out less than less than what is 10 star 20. We will get the output as 200. So like this, we can access base class members as well as derived class members with the help of the pointer variables. Let us assume that here uh, I have written a statement like this. DPTR is equal to M percent BOBC. That means derived class pointer contains base class object. It is not possible in C++ programming. Okay? It is incompatible here. Derived class pointer should not contain the base class object address. Derived class pointer should contain only derived class object address only. If you write like this, then the compiler will use the error message. Okay? So in this way, we can access base class members and derived class members with the help of the 